What can you say to Republicans to persuade them that the things you say in the campaign are rooted in something deeper than the fact that you're running for office? Uh, John, I, I think people know me pretty well. I think people understand that I'm a man of uh, steadiness and constancy. So when asked, will I preserve and protect a woman's right to choose, I make an unequivocal answer, yes. No, I'm saying I changed my mind, and you can look at my record as governor, and, uh, and you can see in my record as governor that I have consistently been pro-life. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. I have since the time that my mom took that position when she ran in 1970 as a U.S. Senate candidate. I believe that since Roe v. Wade has been the law for 20 years, that we should sustain and support it. And I sustain and support that law. I will be a pro-life president. I'll appoint. So when I ran for office, I was effectively pro-choice. I didn't call myself pro-choice, but I said I... Just like I've been a pro-life governor. At the time, by the way, I crafted the plan in the last uh, campaign. I was asked, is this something that you would have the whole nation do? And I said, no, this is something that was crafted for Massachusetts. It would be wrong to adopt this as a nation. able to put in place a plan that helped get health insurance premiums down and gets all of our citizens insured. If we can do that nationally, we help not only Michigan and the auto industry, but the entire nation. We do have tough gun laws in Massachusetts. I support them. I support the Second Amendment. I, uh, I purchased a gun when I was a young man. I've been a hunter uh, pretty much all my life. Small, small uh, varmints, if you will. Look, I was an independent during the time of Reagan Bush. I've never voted for a Democrat when there was a Republican on the ballot. I'm not trying to return to Reagan Bush. It's time for Republicans to start acting like Republicans. I have kept a consistent position on right to life, and I haven't changed my position even on even numbered years or have changed because of the different offices that I may be running for. You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. Uh, and I think Romney exhausted his quota some time back. Well, I'll put it in a nutshell. If we don't run Chris Christie, Romney will be the nominee on the list.